complete HTML email template design and tutorial number five. In this tutorial, we'll discuss about what is the limitations of the table-based and TD-based column and how to get rid of these limitations. In previous lesson, we uh, discussed about the table-based columns like this, whose stacks properly in mobile devices like this. Now we will discuss how uh, to make this work in TD based column as well and uh, what is the limitation of the table based columns. Here you see the table based columns are here left right and right left. So if we want to keep this vertically middle position then in the table based structure we can't do that automatically uh, you have to uh, keep it centered manually by adding some spaces like here you see if i add some space here this is the code for space if i add some space here then it can be centered but if you add more text to it like something like this then this will not be uh, centered anymore this is possible in table data td based structure but in table data the first column go first and the second column go last so in table data table td based structure it will show like this one this one is fine for this one this will go at the bottom let's see how it looks this one is table based column and I will make a td table data based column at its top I am using shortcuts to show it quickly so here you see the td based column structure which i discussed in my previous lessons so if you missed that you can check that as well here i have to put the same thing the same thing So this is a TD based column. How to make it centered automatically? Here you see the V align. That means the vertical align. Vertical align now is top. That means it, it will be aligned top. If I add middle and refresh the page, then it will go middle. If the image is uh, larger than the text at its side, then you have to align this part in middle suppose you have 450 pixel width of image so to align it at the middle you have to change this as well so it's always better if you want the things uh, center align then keep every td in middle position that means v align middle this is automatic
let's make it 350 okay if we add a reverse one that means right image left text what I have to do normally is this but how it looks in mobile let's see first column first for the table data you will see the first column first and the second column last that means in mobile this will go first this second this third this fourth position like this but we want a symmetrical structure like this one first this one second and this one third and this one fourth how to get that in the HTML we know that there is a attribute dir that means direction direction we have ltr left to right and right to left so if I erase this structure and just copy this one put this one if i make this table dir that means direction right to left then this will go here this will go the here let's see how to do that here this is the main table i have to keep dir rtl sorry we maybe we have a dir ltr already here so we have to remove that otherwise it will not work okay remove that and this works and how it looks on mobile it looks on mobile as like we wanted we wanted the first second third and fourth and that's how it's showing now another thing there is suppose we have a flow stuff here as we added the dir rtl in the whole table the inner contents like all of these will uh, show in rtl format that means the flow stuff at the last see how it looks in uh, looks there the flow stuff goes at the left side as it's a rtl structure so how to get rid of this I have to put dir ltr here that fixes this issue if there are some text below this image then you have to change its direction as well its direction as well so how to do that dir LTR. LTR. that's how you can fix these things so from testing we see let's let's change it to 200 From testing we see this approach works pretty well on all major email clients all major email clients so uh, still now uh, this is one of the best approach to make the two columns and keep them vertically or uh, vertically centered or top or bottom as you want so there are three attributes you can use the middle the top and the bottom how it looks if I use the bottom then it will go always the bottom line uh, always go with the bottom line like this another approach we know is the hybrid approach 
that means the ghost table that means uh, the tables that can be recognized by microsoft outlook only but uh, from my test uh, it's not necessary for now uh, because we are going to make three column sections in the next tutorial in the three column sections we will need the ghost table or and the hybrid structure that's it for now i think uh, the two column issues and uh, everything is clear with this tutorial if anything unclear please feel free to message us or feel free to put a comment in this video we will help as much as possible i hope you are enjoying this series i'm going to publish more deep videos like templates for Shopify templates for Klaviyo and templates for different email platforms and I'm planning to get this basic tutorial ended up very soon so uh, I think I will publish next tutorials regularly please feel free to message us if you have any special requirements till then have a nice day thank you